Okay, welcome back. Guess what? We have another commentary. Only this time, it's of my new power PB for this year at least. Um, but right off the bat, this. Um, so yes, I did a new twenty minute power today. I went out to test it. Plus, this twenty minute power is it, it equals my best twenty minute power of two thousand eighteen. So let that sink in for a second. That's that's like that was done in the month of June, I think. Um, so I was going pretty well, and obviously in the middle of summer when it's skin suit weather, and it was done in a time trial. So um, yeah, take it for what it's worth. So this effort was done near the end of a ride. I'm going to use both Strava and Training Peaks to look at this because I know that some of you are on Strava, some of you are just on Training Peaks. So here we go. This is. Uh, Steady away until it wasn't. 6.3 watts per kilo for 21 minutes. Conservative. Good signs. Now, what do I mean by conservative? Um, well, um, take a look at the graph. And we'll see that, yes, I did all this ride in here beforehand, but it was quite easy. In fact, it was very easy. Uh, my elevation went a bit wrong here, but um, we'll, we'll just scrub over that. The effort, which is the bit I'm going to talk about, is right here and there were some traffic lights that messed up the start of it the first minute so i had to kind of reset it after going through the traffic lights but it's basically done on our 10 mile course down Pembrey, and average 378 watts an average heart rate of 166 and a max of 177 and everything else is there now my heart rate is fairly slow to rise and then about the halfway point, it rises over the average line and yeah, it just maxes out at like 177 or something over here somewhere. But um, in terms of pacing it, I'm going to try and gauge where halfway is. Uh, the thing is halfway is like, this is where we turn at the roundabout right here. You can't really see it on the map, but this is where we turn. So I'm going to guess that's halfway. So 370 for the first 11 minutes to get to the turn, the roundabout, and then... I'm going to go back to there and drag and 388 for the last 9 minutes and 50. Um, two comparisons, really. My cadence is exactly the same. My heart rate obviously rises pretty much the whole way through the effort, um, gradually increasing the whole way. Uh, I was going you know, really hard, I guess, for the last three minutes. I was, uh, I was going as hard as I could go. Um, so there it is there pretty much 408 watts um, so I'd say it was paced perfectly like I couldn't really sprint at the end or anything which is exactly what I want to do and um, yeah I mean, but the thing is though you can actually see a significant rise near the end there which isn't necessarily the best thing um, because it shows that I did have enough to up it in those last three minutes maybe I could have started four minutes out from the last you know from the end and I, that kind of increase at the end there wouldn't have been as severe. So it's just a pacing tip. Um, it's ironic, really, because the amount of times I do these things, you'd think I'd get, you know, good at them. But that's not necessarily the case. It's a long time since... thing is, during the season when I do these efforts, and I'll go back to training peaks, um, when I do these type of efforts during the season and I do local club time trials, some of you might find this, but... Usually you get very good, not just at doing the number, doing the power, but you get very comfortable with your own body pushing itself and going, um, you know, above and beyond kind of every Thursday night during the summer, you know, when you're doing a club time trial. You can see, uh, let's just unzoom, but you can see that def there's a definite rise and it looks pretty steep. Whereas, you know, say, for example, we started here and starting to rise, then it wouldn't, it'd kind of be in line whereas here it's like kind of it is gradually going up but then the trend just goes massive at the end so that's kind of like that's an indication and hence why i labeled it conservative because i think i started far too conservatively i mean if we look at the first i know maybe first five minutes or so i'm at 366 watts which is just over six watts per kilo now you can see that my intensity factor is almost 1.1 um, the last time I tested, my 20-minute uh, power was something like 357. 
and that was then in a Zwift race uh, near the end of an hour and 15 minutes. So um, so it's a completely different effort. But you can see my average heart rate at 157 for, the, for that first kind of six minutes, which is super low. And it depends. I'd had a coffee and everything. I'd actually stopped in the cafe um, over here. So we did this loop and we stopped at the cafe here. And then I rode back out here, which was like 20 minutes. So I'd had the coffee. And then I had 10 minutes before I left the cafe and then 20 minutes, so about half an hour after the coffee, I'd hit the effort. So just as a bit of a reference point, um, so my heart rate was fairly low, but um, I'm not going to read too much into it. But hopefully me just talking about my effort and kind of, I don't know, I guess giving you an insight into it, um, maybe you can pick up on things, uh, similarities between my effort and your effort. But this is obviously... You know, these power zones and everything are all based off of um, the what my FTP was, or at least what it was set to before today. So the 21-minute effort at 1.1, um, you know, now it's uh, 300, eh, 380-ish for 20. 6.25, 6.3 watts per kilo. In terms of where that puts us for Mallorca, um, it gives us a lot of breathing room, I have to say. I'm aiming for 6.5 for 25 minutes. That's four watts, uh, four minutes more. Um, and, you know, what, 0.2 of a watt per kilo more. So it's almost negligible. I could say... Mm, it's hard to say, isn't it? But I could say that I may have been able to hang on to that effort for another three minutes or possibly four minutes uh, to make it 25. But you never know unless you actually do the effort. But yeah, I know that obviously I've got until the end of March before I go to Mallorca and have a stab at Sacalobra. So, you know, there's plenty of time. There's like two full months. Um, but if you count like some kind of, I guess, easy week and taper week and things like that, then uh, I'm looking more towards six weeks of progressive training or at least hard training in some places um what changes have i made why oh, is asking me that I'm gonna cancel um so it, in theory uh it gives us plenty of time so you know it, when i start mapping it out this is kind of where i'd imagine myself to be because if you look at my power curve from the race another race the effort I did, you got 20 minutes here, and then we're going to compare it to all of 2019. The best in 2019 was 385 for 20 minutes, but uh, it was done, look, kind of in the summer again, the end of the summer. Uh, this is the best ever 20 minutes I've done this early in the year by far, like almost, almost 30 watts more than what I've ever done at this time of the year. Go away. My phone is uh, supposed to be on silent. Sorry. Um, so the, yeah, you can see that this effort itself was a, a longer effort that I did in 2019. And that was like 23 and a half minutes at 6.3 watts per kilo. Now, I don't, like I said, it's hard to speculate, but we're in a good place for Sacalobra. And I think we have, once we get um, the diet kind of cleaned up a little bit more and we start shifting towards performance mindset, then, you know, these last marginals are going to make the most, uh, the most difference or the biggest difference rather um, coming into the last, last few weeks. And I think, you know, particularly as I'm going to be doing uh, some time trials in March, I've got a 10 mile time trial plan for March the 1st. It's on a fairly fast course down, down my way. I've actually never done it since I was a junior. And that would be, wow, quick maths. Can't work it out. Probably 2012. Sorry, no, not 2012. Well, yeah, it could have been 2011, the year that I actually did it. Uh, and I did it as the GHS uh, Junior Championships. Uh, I always qualify for the Junior Championships. I didn't finish anywhere. 
but I think I did like I don't know what it was a 23 minute 10 or something it's a fairly fast course and I wasn't that fit then so I'm interested to see what I can do on a road bike this time so I'm excited for that plus the more the more time I spend I guess practicing riding at this effort the better but that doesn't mean I'll be training at this effort all the time so some of you asked on a live stream the other day how my training has changed for this sort of effort even though it's a 25 minute at you know a high wattage i won't actually train at that wattage generally i'll practice at that wattage maybe once every 10 days but i won't kill myself by trying to ride at it you know twice a week or something um which is i guess kind of interesting for a lot of you but that's um that's how my training works nowadays so yeah i hope you enjoyed this and uh see you again soon